Motor Week is made possible by Tire Rack. In any engine, you have to have a way to operate the valves up in the top of the engine. And that's done by means of connecting the crankshaft in the bottom of the engine to the camshaft or camshafts in the top of the engine. Now back in the day, for many, many, many years, this was the method they did that with. It was a very simple timing chain with sprockets such as we see here. But that later went away. And what we saw as a replacement first was a timing belt such as we see here. Now timing belts are made of rubber, so therefore they're replaceable parts just like the tires on the car. They go bad with time or mileage, whichever comes first. Now, you have to make sure that whatever your owner's manual tells you, you don't exceed either the time or the mileage, because if one of these goes bad, well, it could destroy the engine. Now, the thing that we see most frequently is not that the belt actually breaks. You see, down here at this bottom sprocket, there's a lot more tension on the teeth because the sprocket is smaller. Well, when you start the car, what happens is, as the belt ages, it strips off some of the teeth. We can see this one right here, it is trying to come off. It is broken and ready to come off. When that happens, well, the crankshaft continues to turn, the pistons move up and down, and the valves are static. So the pistons hit the valves, you got major damage to your engine. All right, but timing belts have pretty much gone away over the last few years, and now we're back to timing chains. But timing chains now are nothing like the old ones. You see, now, because the cams are up on the tops of the heads, you've got big, long chains, you've got multiple chains, and we can't have them just rolling around in there, so now, we have chain guides and chain tensioners and all these different parts that go along with the timing chains. Now, the key to all of this is that we don't want these parts to wear. And some of them, like these guides and tensioners here, these are made of plastic and they require a thin film of oil to prevent the plastic from wearing out. So you gotta have good, clean oil all the time. Second thing is that you have hydraulic tensioners like these. Now, as you start the car, this piston comes out and it maintains pressure against the timing chains. Well, these have little fine oil passages in them. Failure to change the oil? Well, those oil passages get clogged and then when you start the car, the engine rattles. And that rattling is the chain bouncing against these plastic parts and it doesn't take long before the plastic parts break and you're looking at a major, and I do mean major, repair on most engines. So clean oil, the proper viscosity, and these parts will last almost forever. And if you have a question or a comment, drop me a line right here at MotorWeek.